Hey guys, get leveled here, and today we're gonna be talking about Melon. Now, what is Melon? Basically, just imagine if like Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio or Twitch Studio or XSplit were all compressed into a web browser. You go to a website, you click go live, and you're live. Basically, the goal here is to simplify the process of going live. Recently, there's a ton of people uh, that were, you know, locked at home and basically had to learn how to live stream. Except, you know, if you're streaming on Twitch and you're a gamer, you know the, the process is not that easy, which is literally why I started my channel in the first place when I was starting up. I was like, oh my God, this is so complex. I need to help other people figure it out because I had a hard time doing it myself. Now, fun fact, Melon was actually created by the people at Streamlabs. It's just a different service. I can tell that the goal here is to make streaming more accessible and also more intuitive for the newcomers, the DJs, the artists, the podcasters, the talk show host, but also, you know, people who want to stream privately. We're going to get into all the little things that Melon actually does that is worth talking about. So basically, you go to melonapp.com and it will bring you to this page. As you can see here, they give you a quick presentation of what it is, web-based live streaming studio, all of that. And then they start listing, listing a couple of features uh, that are important. The five clicks and you are live, simple, invite guests with ease. And a cool thing is that you can actually put guests in a waiting room and just manage them. You know, when you want to bring someone up, you just bring them up customize your broadcast obviously it's gonna be web-based so you're gonna be limited you can't just do whatever although you can upload a couple of images but it is pretty much guaranteed that you will have a very clean looking setup overall and then of course there's the multi-stream stream to four platforms at the same time i think that is an, an amazing feature especially when we know in the live streaming world you have to you know go through hoops in order to get multi-streaming this one is just simple you just log in launch up your stuff and when you're ready you just pick all the platforms you want to stream on and then click go live boom and since it's web-based and cloud-based uh it's not it's definitely not taking a toll on your computer like uh, streamlabs obs or obs studio would the only real performance is going to be out of your webcam so in my opinion i think it's a good thing for people who are not able to go live with you know traditional softwares really makes it easy something that was not mentioned is private live streaming too uh you don't have to go live on any platform you can just host a meeting and have your guests there especially if you're a podcaster and you're trying to do a podcast you know that will be recorded and posted later this is great especially since it actually doesn't ask for people to log in when you're inviting guests so that's great so in the features tab we'll see like uh, connect with guests you know everything is easy multi-stream of course all processing is done in the cloud preserving your computer as a host you have complete control over how you appear when you stream we're gonna check that out a little bit later so right before we go into logging in and actually showing you the thing i want to show you the actual pricing because there is pricing there is a free plan obviously there's a free plan and the cool thing with this free plan is that it's not a trial it is free and it's free forever of course with limited access and then or right now there's a 40 percent off that allows you to get the pro version for 15 dollars a month when it's usually uh, 25 dollars a month now although i think the limits are kind of strict on the basic plan i think that if you're really really uh, using it as a hobby or something that is far from a professional uh, standpoint i think it's fair and considering who this product is actually aimed at i think that 25 bucks a month is also pretty fair if you're running a show a podcast and you're constantly bringing guests and stuff like that it's an investment but ultimately you decide if it's worth it or not oh and if you click here you can see the annual plan and if you take it you actually get it at 12 bucks a month right now cool thing here again you don't need to create an account from scratch and have to act Activate your email, blah, blah, blah. No, all you have to do is sign in with one of your established platforms and you're good. I'm gonna sign in with YouTube and there you go. And you're gonna see how easy it is to pretty much immediately go live. It's, it's kind of crazy. Here it's gonna give you the basic instructions. You know, um, it's gonna tell you that in your browser, it's gonna ask you which webcam and which microphone you wanna use. And it's also gonna ask you to allow it. So I'm gonna click allow. And then it gives you a quick tutorial on how it works. Okay, live with Melon. As you can see here, uh, this is completely dark, probably because I'm using OBS Studio and I'm currently using all of my webcams. There you go. So right now, as you can see, like my webcam is here, but it's not showing on stream yet. We're not live, so we're just customizing stuff and we're getting stuff in place. Click on yourself to add to the video feed okay but if i hover here and i go show on stream boom here my webcam is showing now let's say i want to invite a guest for example i can just click i can just click invite guest and it's going to tell you link copied and what you can do is go ahead and send that link to someone open up a notepad and paste that link is going to create a custom link that you can just send and anyone can just join it's going to be web-based uh there's no need for an email there's no need for 
for anything, all right? And if I wanna hide, boom, I can hide. Of course, at the bottom, you'll have things like uh, mute, stop video, screen share. Screen share is pretty important, of course. I don't have many apps open here. And then you can actually share a specific Chrome tab and it will list all your Chrome tabs. You can even pick your entire screen if you want to. You can also share the audio from your screen, of course. Did we try? Let's uh, do like, this is kind of like display capture pretty much. So we can share. And right now it's gonna be added. Basically every screen possible, every display is gonna be added uh, to the left side here. So I can go show on stream and now it will show both. Now if I wanna hide my webcam feed, I can just click hide on stream and then boom. Now everything is my display capture, which is pretty cool. Or I can just hide everything. That's great. Um, if I show both of them and I don't like this, you know, the way it's displaying right now, I can actually change the layout. So there you go. At the bottom left, you will see suggested. Those are different layouts that you can just set up. As you can see here, I'm, this is a little tinier and this is bigger. Um, and then there's others that you can get to. If you want, you know, multiple uh, people side by side, uh, three people, one big, two smalls, you know. <laughs> All right, let's hide the screen share. Let's keep this. And here at the bottom right, this is kind of a, you know, feedback. This is not your chat. This is one way for you to communicate with the Melon staff. Let's get rid of that. You can show your own chat. It will appear on the right side here. There's stream chat. There's also a private chat that you can run, I believe, in between the guests. So if the guests have questions before the stream, don't quote me on that. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, there's scheduling where you can actually create events and schedule your broadcast. And then there's the famous edit screen. Now let's go ahead and, and start editing the screen. So general settings here, this is my name. This is how it will be displaying on the guest list. And also when I'm speaking, it will show my name. You can decide to hide the participants' names. That's pretty cool. And then there's logo. Let's click on the drop down here. Here you have the Melon logo, but you can upload your own logo. Let's check it out. So basically your name is going to show top left and your logo is going to show top right. Let's check out a banner. So here it says live with melon. I can, you can do whatever. Let's say that, let's say that's the name of the show or the subject that you guys are discussing. Uh, there's the fonts, there's the background for this. Let's go with, with that purple, try to keep it in on brand, right? And then there's banner font color. I could go and just give me that sign. And then there's this ticker, knowing that you can actually turn off those those things. If you don't want the logo to show, you're completely fine too. And then here this background where you can pick it and basically instead of having a black background when there's like some empty space, uh, you will have that specific background. Let's uh, hide this for example. And that's basically your background for the stream. And if you have both of those, uh, this will be your background right here as you can see. And you can switch it super fast like this as well of, of course uh, upload your own background. It's very important. You actually have to start streaming to, to view the chat. Okay, so what else? I'm going to keep the chat on this side and uh, let's talk about going live. When you click go live, this is the option that you are given. And this is pretty cool because it it's really as simple as immediately linking your accounts and then you don't have to touch them ever anymore. Every time you log in into Melon, you can just pick them and then go live on all of them once at a time or all at once. See, I showed you the pricing thing. I, I just want to make sure there's no confusion here. I want to make sure there's no confusion here. The limited options, make sure you really look at this pricing thing so you can understand exactly which feature you have access to as a as a free version. I'm actually using the pro version, so I will definitely have more options than the free version. So that it only took two clicks and my Twitch account is actually linked. Let's see, let's let's see what we can do. Let's go and click next. And here you have access to uh, a stream title and a description. You know what? We're gonna do it. Let's go live and then go live. So when they say a couple of clicks, it is, it is. And as you can see here, my Twitch chat actually appears and I get all the options from Twitch too, including better Twitch TV. That is crazy. I probably sound horrible on stream right now and no one is expecting me to stream. Oh, there you go. 
But for example, me, I have a very, very bad uh, internet connection. And um, as you can see here, it streams at 720p. I could put 1080p if I wanted to. Just testing something. I'm not actually streaming. I'm currently recording. So you, you guys can say hi to YouTube. At the bottom here, I can actually choose which mic I want to use. I can also choose my my camera here if there's multiple. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it from, from that little icon in your address bar. And again, you can go ahead and tweak the resolution of your camera too. Uh, my camera, I'm probably want to stream at like 480p in order for it not to be too crazy, like bad, but, <laughs> but this stream is still going to be at uh, 720p. And as you can see, this is a clean, crisp 720p. Maybe my webcam is going to be broadcasted at, at 480p, but the stream itself, 720, I have 0 0.7 upload speed. So I shouldn't be <laughs> able to stream at 720p at all. That means that if my, that means that if I get guests, in the stream and they have better internet and a better looking webcam or whatever the stream will st still broadcast them at a higher quality i haven't tested that so don't take my word for it but as you can see that everything else that has nothing to do with my webcam my feed is broadcasted at a higher quality but that's definitely a great option for you know streamers like me who have very very bad internet and now we're going to end the stream by clicking and stream are you are you sure of course now, since I already gathered 15 viewers, apparently, I'm going to go ahead and host someone real quick, bring those viewers to someone. All right, so those were the basics of Melon or MelonApp.com. <laughs> I definitely advise you to go and play around with the basic plan and see if that could be useful for you. Another cool thing that they have is some sort of uh, referral links, kind of like what Streamlabs OBS was doing. If someone uses your link, uh, you're getting a little bit of money. So for the sake of transparency, my link in the description actually supports me. So if you go and even try the free basic plan, that actually helps me out. So consider it. But that being said, this is not paid by Streamlabs. It's not a promotion. I'm not sponsored uh, by any means. They just wanted me to review it. And there you go. I think it is for a specific type of person, you know, if you're that kid who wants to just stream Fortnite with alerts and all fancy things, uh, this might not be for you. I believe it is more, weirdly enough, it is for pros, but also amateurs. If you're doing anything that does not involve uh, playing video games, if you're mostly a webcam based or an audio based live stream, then this simplifies the process like crazy. Or if you know, you're very new to this whole live streaming scene and you just want to sit down and have fun, this is also great. If we're comparing it to the other process that you would go through in order to download a software, download stream labels, download this, download that, learn how to do this, learn how to do that. This works with this. This got updated and this is different now. <laughs> I think they deliver on the promise of making it more accessible and also more intuitive. Anyways, let me know what you think about this service in the comment section below. If you're not following me on social media yet, consider it because I try to post, you know, specific content for specific social media platforms. I'm mostly active on Twitter and on Instagram. But I'm also very active in my Discord server that you can join. And if you have any questions about live streaming and stuff like that, you can come ask. You can come answer questions about live streaming too. You can do stream review, watch other people stream and tell them what you think about it, how they can improve. Or you can submit your own stream for everyone in the server to look at it and give you advice on how to improve if that is necessary. And of course, I just released a brand new overlay pack called Soldier 2. Check it out. It's at gumroad.com slash level. I also released a stinger transition template that you might be interested in. So gumroad.com slash level. This is where you will find mostly free overlays and then very affordable ones. That being said, if you check top right of your screen, you will see what YouTube thinks is the best thing that you should watch right after this video. And then at the bottom of it, you will find my latest video. So go check them out and keep on learning. But that's it for me today. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Go out there, make me proud. Guy level, out. <laughs>